you're the science show. <laughs> Today we're going to make bubbles and learn how soap works. All you need for this experiment is some water and some dish soap. Pour some soap into the water. Now mix it around. You can use anything with a loop to blow bubbles. Now dip it in and blow bubbles. Look, let's show them this. Cool. Whoa. Yay, bubbles! So how are bubbles formed? Soap molecules look kind of like this spoon. <laughs> Soap molecules have two parts. A small head that likes water and a long tail that does not like water. <laughs> Let's zoom in on this bubble and see how the soap and water are arranged. If we get up real close, you'll see the water sandwiched between the soap. And the tails point to the air and the heads point to the water. The heads like water and the tails don't. If these spoons are my soap molecules and these caps are my water molecules, then I will show you how bubbles are formed. This is a small section of a bubble wall. The part of the soap molecule that likes water is pointed to water. Since the tails don't like water, they point toward the outside and inside of the bubble. In this test tube, I have oil and water. Do you see how the oil floats on top of the water because it doesn't want to mix? Oil doesn't like water and water doesn't like oil. <laughs> Remember our soap molecule? The long tail likes oil and the head likes water. After we shake it up, it separates again. They do not like each other and they do not want to mix. Let's see what happens if you add some soap to the oil and water. Now we added soap to the oil and water. Let's see what happens if we shake this up with the soap in it. Do you see how it mixes together now and doesn't separate? The long tail of the soap mixes with the oil and the head mixes with the water and they mix together. That's why when you wash your hands with soap, it takes away the grease. You just learn how to make bubbles and how soap works. If you like this video, then hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can see all my fun videos. And remember kids, science is fun!